Okay, now I got the proper key for the truck. So this video is gonna be regarding some of the things that we are currently selling because we are making a big move here. If you guys have been watching the videos for the past couple of years, you know exactly what my wife and I have been trying to do now for the past couple years. I mean, we've been trying to make a move to a new location, which is a few hours away from where we're at now, a different state. It's not necessarily just the fact that it's a different state and it's like, oh, we just wanna move because we just wanna move. There's a few reasons. A, the location that we're in now, it's a great young family home or just a home in general if you want a little bit of land not too far from town, etc. whatever. Small farm that you could have a truck in the barn if you had to. There's you know plenty of storage for tools and mowers and accessories and stuff like that. And you can have a few animals and whatever and it's not this crazy big place that you have to try to maintain. But the location that we're in does not give us much privacy at all. It's just not ideal for what we're trying to do with our family life, what we're trying to do with our homestead in terms of like the setting that we want, what we wanna be able to do at our place and have some kind of privacy. It's just not a good long-term situation for us, but we knew that when we bought the place, we knew that when we bought this place, we were in the transition of wanting to move to said location, but we're like, you know what? At the moment, there's nothing available and the stuff that was available was gonna be like a lot of compromise and I'm like, I don't want to move to a different state and buy something that I don't love in a different state. Like if we're going to make the move, I don't want to move until we're finding something that we really love. All that being said, we did find something that we love. It needs a few things done, but we're going to capture that all in video with you guys on this channel because this is going to be like my vlog channel. That's just like anything that I want to film. I'm going to put it on here as long as I think you guys will get something out of it in terms of entertainment or education or just information that you guys maybe wanted to hear about. In terms of everything, that's strictly giveaway trucks and strictly lnpgear.com updates and stuff and winter posts and things along those lines. That's everything only about a giveaway topic. That is going to be on the LNP Gear YouTube page. So if you want to see only giveaway stuff, go to that page right there. So taking it back a couple of years while we're letting this track warm up, in 2020, early 2020, my wife and I bought this house and it was like, okay, it's not too terribly far from everything that we use day to day right now. It's got just enough land for her animals and stuff. It's got just enough barn space to where if I need to do some truck stuff, I can get a truck pulled in and out of the weather. So I'm at least not getting rained on and whatnot. But as soon as we bought this place, within a couple of months, we ended up buying two properties. We bought a property in Ohio. When I say Ohio, I'm talking like just across the Indiana line and we're pretty close to the Ohio Indiana line. And then we bought a property that was a little bit south of us in Indiana, same state that we're in currently but it was about an hour and some change south of where we're at now. And we bought them mostly for like hunting and stuff like that. And we just thought, you know what? We've got the money to buy some ground. Let's buy some ground. We get to hunt it, have fun, and then maybe someday we'll sell it and we'll make some money on it. How much or how little we were gonna make on it, we didn't know because at the time, it was right before the market went like this. I mean, the market was climbing steadily, but this was like early to mid 2020 now. You know, this is right before the housing and property market just went bonkers, right? So we got some really good prices on this ground and I'm not gonna disclose what I paid for it and what I'm selling it for, but let's just say it was a really good investment, but I'm not gonna act like I'm in some kind of investment guru because you know, I didn't know that the market was gonna do that. You know, I thought it was just gonna be like the standard appreciation of brown, which is like a few percent, you know, three to 7%, three to 10%, depending on the year, depending on the market, how many people are buying and looking. But that's not the only thing that I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna go over my experience as a landowner, the things that I liked about it, things that I didn't like about it, and uh, my takeaway from the experience, because both of the properties are under contract to be sold to the same person, cash buyer, and they're gonna be sold to, actually it's a, it's a guy, there's one guy buying one of them, and then it's the same guy and one of his friends that are buying the other one. They're doing a whole cash deal on both of them, and it's pretty cool. We're gonna go over a couple of things about the property ownership though, and some of the takeaways from the experience over the last two years of owning this ground, and my take on it. So, stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and hopefully you guys get something out of it.
you want to get entered to win this sweet 5.9 Cummins plus $5,000 cash, 10 times bonus entries end in about 24 hours. So if you want to grab those 10X entries, they're about to expire and then it is dropping down to 1X. So grab those while you can or consider subscribing to a monthly mystery box and automatically get 20 times entries every month as well. Pretty slick deal because you get one of our highest entry multipliers consistently every giveaway so you never have to worry about getting in on the best entry periods. You're always going to be up there in one of the top ones when you subscribe to a mystery box. So consider subscribing to one today. We have one at 25 bucks and the one that's just over $100. So definitely go check them out, subscribe, and always get 20 times entries for joining our current trust and thousands of dollars in cash. We made it back into the Ohio property here. One of the two properties that we are selling at the moment. I don't know if I made it clear, but we're actually selling the properties because we're moving about two or three hours away, depending on which one you're driving from. That place that we are buying, actually, it's a new residence for us, but it also has hunting ground in the backyard, and the guy kills really nice deer there, and he has good experiences with seeing a lot of deer come through the property and stuff like that. It's got some woods, some field area for um, pasture for Reagan's animals, but it's also got plenty of area for me to be able to do like my food plots and bedding areas and all that stuff. So I'm super excited about that. Given the fact that our new property is gonna have property that I can hunt in the backyard and I don't have to travel to go hunt them, I really don't see the huge point in keeping ground that's gonna be a few hours away from home that I'm just not gonna get a lot of use out of when I could be using that money for other things that could be not only income producing, but just a better fit for our current stage and our current goals. And yes, when I sell these properties, I'm also gonna be turning that cash over into some other property investments, but those are gonna be income producing properties, not hunting properties. But I'm gonna get into my experience with this property and kind of like my takeaway on the experience of owning these two pieces in the last couple of years and the pros and cons. So of course, both the properties that I'm selling, they were actually hunting properties. This one is 20 plus acres, it's all timber. The other one was 10 plus acres. It is also all timber except for a little bit of it. And I bought them simply to go have fun, to go hunting, you know, deer hunt with my wife. Planned on using them to hunt with my son at some point and stuff like that, but of course we're gonna have a different property now that's in the backyard, which is even more convenient. But I just bought them for enjoyment. In terms of my takeaway on, was it worth buying them just to go have fun? In my situation, yeah, it was a lot of fun. I would totally do it again. For me personally, that alone made it well worth it, just having a lot of fun, being able to go out with my wife, we made a lot of memories, we got some deer, had a lot of time in the tree stand to hang out and shoot stuff and just sit, and it was just a lot of fun and I really enjoyed that. And now of course you don't have to own your own ground to be able to go hunt with your spouse or with your girlfriend or whatever it might be in your situation or your kids, but it is really nice knowing that you can have a piece of ground to make memories on consistently in a certain location where you're like, you have a certain spot you go to together where it's just your piece, it's your spot to go to and it was just, it's just a lot of fun and it really is. And I don't think I'm ever gonna wanna go without owning property ever again that we can go hunt as a family together just because it is great being able to go out into a location, put those food plots in, do that hinge cut bedding and make those edges and all that stuff and then go out there and reap the benefits from that in the deer season. It was just a lot of fun. Um, not to mention the family time of coming out here and being able to do that and be on your own piece of property that's very accessible and you don't have to worry about other people being out here and uh, disturbing you, because it's your own piece. Not to mention, if you're gonna spend money on something, this is just my personal opinion on it, it's awesome when you can spend money on something that you, at a minimum, can get your money back out of. And sometimes, you can get your money back plus some. But every situation is gonna be different. Now, that could depend on the location of where you buy, that could depend on the time you buy, the phase of the market, do you plan on keeping it short term or long term? There's a lot of different variables, but for our situation, for those reasons alone, I did love buying the properties and I definitely wanna always have a piece to go and call our own from this point on. I'm sure there's guys that are like, ah, I'd love to pull the trigger on some property, but I just don't understand, like I just don't know for sure, will I get the satisfaction of owning it and calling it my own or is it just something I'm thinking in my head that would be really cool, but once you buy it, you actually don't love you know having to make a payment on it or pay the taxes on it when you could just you know ask a friend or a farmer if you can go hunt their land or go to public land and not have any responsibility of you know having to pay for the ground maintain the ground etc i personally and this is going to vary person to person i personally absolutely loved it 
absolutely love, you know, regardless of the cost of upkeep, you know, as long as it's within reason and it's not like a total burden on you, I like being able to have a piece to call my own, knowing we can go out there as a family, have fun. It's paying for something that we can create memories on. And for me personally, that alone makes it well worth it. Because if you think about the things that people waste money on, I'm talking like totally waste money on, people will blow money on all kinds of things that they don't need on a regular basis. And they just think, oh, it's just a little thing here and there, but it adds up. And I'd rather spend money to create memories then I would spend money to just get a small high temporarily because you spent money on something that you thought you needed or you wanted and you really didn't, when in reality you could have been putting your money towards something like this, if that's something that you've entertained the thought of. People remember memories more than they remember things and you're gonna get a lot more out of that when you buy a piece of ground or something similar over just trinkets and stuff. Another piece of advice and another takeaway from owning, neighbors. Did I have any problems with neighbors? Cause I know that there's guys that are like, well, I don't really see the, the real benefits of owning your own ground. Cause then you have to worry about people trespassing or poaching your deer or whatever else. I personally didn't have that problem. Or at least if there were people on my property out of my five cellular cameras that I had on it, I never had anybody on here messing with stuff other than one time and as soon as they put up a bunch of posted signs the problem was solved i never dealt with anybody back here and the people that were back here they were kids you know so i don't even know if they really were paying attention to the fact that they were trespassing or anything else anyway so it wasn't a big deal we just put up some signs and made it known that we didn't want people back here we never had the problem again i know that there's people that are like you know i don't want to put up posted signs because you know posted signs are how you make a bad neighbor not entirely true for me personally, I'd rather put the signs up, you know, not to be like, hey, I, I think you're gonna be trespassing, so I'm just letting you know, don't trespass on my property. It's just as like, A, you know a property line very distinctly if you have signs put up in a well-spaced manner to where it's like, okay, there's the property line. That can sometimes just help your neighbors know that, hey, that's the boundary, because maybe they don't have any of their own signs up. But then if anything does go south, you have somebody who's maliciously trespassing and they know they are, the signs just help it be known, hey, this is where the line was, there's no way you walked past it and didn't see it, you know, and you can actually do something about it from a legal standpoint if you at least have signs put up very regularly along the property line because there's nothing worse than having somebody who's, you know, trespassing all the time and you don't like it, but there's not really a whole lot you can do about it because you don't have any signs posted saying to stay off the property and they can always pull the excuse of, oh, well, I didn't know where the line was. Oh, well, I thought I had permission and there was no sign, so I thought it was cool. Like, it's just a good idea to keep them posted. Would I buy these properties again, given their locations? Yes, I would. Both the properties that I bought were in locations where I bought them like as soon as they went up. And this property in particular, I actually put in an offer that was only a hundred bucks over the asking price because the realtor was just letting me know, hey, by the way, the guy that's selling, he's only taking offers until Friday. And then after that, he's just gonna accept the best one because he needs to get the property sold. I put in an offer that was a hundred bucks over asking and that's what got the deal. There were some people that were pretty salty about that because they were like really a hundred bucks over and that's the, that's how he chose. I'm like, hey, a hundred bucks is a hundred bucks. You know, like whatever, it's just, it was the highest offer. And if it was much more than that, I wasn't gonna do it just cause I didn't want it that bad. But I'm like for a hundred bucks over, I'm like, I'm basically just paying what he's asking and that might get me the deal. And it did. Both of my properties are in areas that the demand is high enough to where I know the appreciation is gonna be pretty good because there's people that will buy it if I wanna sell it at any given moment. And they were properties that I was kinda of asking about the interest in them and stuff like that. And I got a feel for the deal in terms of like, is this gonna be an easy property to resell if I want to? Both of the answers on the properties were, yeah, there was lots of people interested in them, which made it easy for me to feel confident that if at a minimum I wanted to sell them for what I paid, I could at least get my money back fairly easily. Now, for those of you who are wondering, because this is my vlog channel, I, you know, I'm totally cool with sharing some details with you guys on here that you guys might be wanting to ask. Maybe not specifics and numbers, just because some stuff's just personal and it doesn't need to be publicly, you know, put out there for everybody. But I am gonna be rotating these funds into income producing properties. And when I say income producing, now that we're buying a house with a property that has hunting ground in the backyard and it has a little bit of everything that we're looking for, it's the ideal situation for us, I don't need to have these hunting properties. But 
I do want to still keep that money tied up in investments, but here's the difference. The properties that I'm gonna be buying now, instead of me having to write a check every month, send it to the bank or send it to pay taxes or whatever on it, now I'm gonna be able to own properties that are paid for in cash that are sending me a check every month. I'm talking about rental property investments. So, you know, houses that are gonna be great rentals for people that are looking for either, you know, a couple year solution as a living, temporary living situation, or just people that like to rent, you know, full time all the time and they just wanna stay renters. That's totally cool too, so that I can still enjoy the place that we have with our new shop, my wife's new horse barn, pasture, you know, all the, you know, plenty of property to enjoy everything that we like doing in our backyard, but then turning these funds into income producing properties that are sending us checks every month, which is going to be contributing towards our retirement goals. And with this move, I did mention that I will now have my own shop space that is not shared with horses, sheep, chickens, cats, and rabbits. Um, so that will be very nice to be able to have our own space. The shop is not yet finished though. So I'm gonna save all the fine details in terms of the setting and the size and all that stuff, but we are gonna be filming some content of getting the shop finished. And this time I'm actually just going to hire out somebody to finish the shop out for the most part. There's a couple things we're gonna do ourselves, but I would ideally just like to have somebody go in there, take a week and get the thing done because it doesn't need much. It just needs a few final touches to get finished up so that way we can put some other cool things in there and have room to store all the trucks, work on trucks, do more stuff ourselves, have climate control in there, all that stuff. It'll be awesome so then year round we can actually do more activities and more fun stuff and be in a climate controlled environment that's super comfortable to get more content for the YouTube channel. Currently, we have not been doing a lot of content for the YouTube channel. We don't need to anymore, but I want to do YouTube, okay? So I really enjoy it. I really like doing it and I wanna be able to produce higher quality content for you guys, but I gotta make it so I can enjoy making it because if it's super uncomfortable to make the content and it's not enjoyable, it's just not fun. And then if it's not fun for me, my videos don't turn out being as good for you guys. So that's what I wanna to try to do so I can bring more content to the YouTube channel for you guys to watch and enjoy. I'm gonna to try to keep up with the videos here a little bit better if I can. We're in the process, like I said, we're in the process of moving and selling property and selling the house and doing a lot of stuff. If you don't see from me a lot, that is why. We got a lot of stuff going on. We're trying to move. We're just busy with a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm gonna try my best to keep up with some YouTube stuff. I'm gonna try to post a couple more videos this week if I can. And when you see us a few weeks from now, we won't be where we are right now. So the content's gonna look very different. The location's gonna be very different. It's gonna be pretty cool. Thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support and watching the videos and sticking around. I appreciate it. If you haven't done so yet, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the new stuff coming up because we're gonna have a lot of new content. It's gonna be pretty exciting. And I want you guys to be along for the ride. So thanks so much for guys for all the love and support. If you haven't grabbed your 10 times bonus entries towards winning that 5.9 comments plus $5,000 cash, definitely consider doing that because 10X does end in about 24 hours and then it will be gone and going to 1X. So thank you guys so much for all the love and all the support and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. So head on over to lmpgear.com and claim those entries because somebody's gotta take this thing home and that person could be you.